decade of the 1970s saw many changes for the American family. What were some of these changes? What was life like for Americans during this decade? Most families in the 1970s consisted of a mother, father, and several children. However, unlike families of earlier eras, the notion of a housewife or stay-at-home mom was becoming a thing of the past. More and more women were entering the workforce every day. Women had more options available than ever before. In the past, careers for women had mostly been confined to the teaching profession, nursing, or working as a secretary. In the 1970s, more women began attending college to become doctors, lawyers, or businesswomen. With more women in the labor force, a variety of time and labor-saving devices entered the American home. From crockpots to microwave ovens, a number of innovative items became commonplace. While microwaves had first been introduced to homes as far back as 1955, the devices did not become practical or affordable until the 1970s. Purchasing a cheaper microwave in the 1970s might have cost a little more than $250. Prices of other items varied greatly over the course of the decade. For example, the average price of a new home in 1970 was $23,400. By 1979, this number had risen to $58,500. A gallon of gasoline cost 36 cents in 1970, but swelled to 86 cents in 1980. The average price for a dozen eggs increased from 25 cents to 80 cents by the end of the decade. Wages changed dramatically as well. In 1970, the average yearly income was $9,350, but by 1979, this had risen to $17,550. However, it must be remembered that wages and take-home pay would have varied greatly from position to position. For example, a doctor in 1975 would have earned around $50,000 a year, whereas a teacher might have earned $12,000 a year. Minimum wage in 1970 was $1.60 an hour, but by 1979 it had risen to $2.90 an hour. It is also worth noting that, despite it being against federal law, many employers continued paying women less for performing the same job as their male co-workers. During the decade, entertainment and leisure activities began to consume larger and larger portions of the typical family's time and budget. Increased availability and affordability of air travel meant that families could take long vacations across the country, but they did not have to spend time making long drives. For example, a family might have been able to visit Disney World in Florida which opened in 1971. Travel certainly wasn't the only form of entertainment. Most American families spent the evening in front of the television, watching popular shows like All in the Family, MASH, Sanford and Son, Happy Days, or The Mary Tyler Moore Show. In 1976, the miniseries Roots became a cultural phenomenon. More than 130 million viewers watched the final episode, and the series was nominated for 37 Emmy Awards, winning nine. Music also played a major role in the world of 1970s entertainment, and many new musical styles emerged throughout the decade. Whether it was the soft rock sounds of the Eagles, Elton John, Billy Joel, Rod Stewart, and Neil Diamond, or the hard rock sounds 
of Led Zeppelin, Queen, and Kiss, there was something for everyone. Disco is the music genre that the decade is often remembered for. The Bee Gees, Donna Summer, and many others produce numerous hits that can be heard in disco nightclubs across the country. Regardless of the preferred musical genre, eight-track tapes provided all listeners with a new way of experiencing their music. Americans in the 1970s also loved going to the movies. The decade produced many classics, such as The Godfather, that are regarded as being amongst the best films ever made. Films like Taxi Driver, The French Connection, and Chinatown provided audiences with a glimpse of dark, gritty reality. Meanwhile, blockbusters like Jaws and Superman had moviegoers flocking to theaters. In 1977, George Lucas released Star Wars, which shattered box office records. By the end of the year, the film had earned more than $300 million, making it, at the time, the most successful motion picture in history. The decade also saw teenagers becoming intrigued with a new form of entertainment known as video games. In 1972, Atari released an arcade game known as Pong, a simple, computerized version of Ping Pong. Three years later, the company released a home version of the game. In 1978, Space Invaders was released. The game became incredibly popular and launched an arcade craze that swept the nation. Millions of teens swarmed into arcades, eager to spend money playing video games. By 1982, Space Invaders had made more than $2 billion and is still one of the highest grossing video games of all time. Clothing in the 1970s took several interesting directions as well. Many women stopped wearing dresses and skirts, choosing to wear pants instead. Long length skirts that reached the floor also became popular. For men, shirts with wide collars and leisure suits became trends. A relatively new synthetic fabric known as polyester was used to make every type of clothing item imaginable for both men and women. Throughout much of the decade, both genders wore shirts and pants in a tight, form-fitting manner. It should be remembered that not every family experienced the 1970s in the same way. These were just a few of the broad trends that were predominant throughout the decade. Each family and each individual living in the 1970s had a unique situation with their own stories, tastes, and preferences. Just I and my friend, my friend, we travel for Pain in a traveling band. Why did you give me to my hand? But I'm not what I'm not. I'm not what I'm not. I'm not what I'm
want to tell you that I adore you, I always do. That you. Oh, baby, I'm
green-eyed lady, ocean lady, soothing. But till then. to 